differential privacy is, is a, is a def definition uh, of, of a property, not, not an algorithm for achieving it. Uh, and that means that um, it's, it's nice to be able to say that you've got that. The, the notion of differential privacy is that um, when, when you query a database that contains my personal data, the answer that you get back will be the same whether or not my data is included. If you can achieve that, I have no reservations about joining in any survey that is going to populate that database because you can't find out anything about me in principle by querying the database because the query is independent of, of whether it contains my data or not. And there's a lot of mathematics behind what is meant by differential privacy and what you can therefore do with um, a, a data um, analytics computing system that has the property of differential privacy. The hard thing, well, there, there are a number of issues around it. The first is demonstrating that you have actually got a practical Im implementation of that. Uh, and, and of course, there are lots of circumstances un under which that's going to be very difficult to achieve. And that the second issue is that every query that is answered against that database reduces the degree of, of uh, privacy that that database manifests. I mean, obviously, if you ask enough questions and collect it, you can rebuild the database. So over a period of time, a database that, that started off with a level of differential privacy actually reaches the point where it is it no longer has enough of that property remaining and you have to destroy it because if you continue using it then then the privacy will be destroyed 